So what happens if we build AI to be kind? Is that even possible? Can you teach a computer to care about humans and genuinely want to help others? It's a thing that I've been obsessed with studying because since I can remember, I've been obsessed with two things, making a bunch of money and having a positive impact on the world. So when I realized that AI was the ticket to both, everything changed for me. I could sit in my corner cubicle coding. I didn't have to come out. I didn't have to put pants on. I could just sit there and code, and I could change the world and change the lives of thousands of people immediately. It's like, yes, I'm so glad I studied computer science and math. Um, it didn't always start off that way, though. My, one of my first jobs out of grad school was sitting down with a panel of C-suite executives at a Fortune 500 company. Everything's so serious. Uh, I was hired to find the 500 worst people so we can fire them and attempt to reduce company cost. It was really terrifying for me. I sat down. I wanted to do a good job. Sat down. I was scrolling through the names of every single person that worked at the company. Just who should I fire? Who should I fire? And then I was clicking into the databases, looking in every table, like, which data is collected? How am I going to decide who is worthy of keeping their job based on this information? And what I noticed was there was nothing in the database about, is this person a good person? Are they kind, compassionate? Do they have empathy? Are they a good leader? There was no soft skills at all. It was just, where did they go to school? And how many emails did they open in a given day? You know, just the transactional stuff. I couldn't go to sleep knowing that I was going to be the one responsible for building this machine to do this thing based on this data. Like, are you kidding me? We're going to build a machine that's going to make decisions about the future of these people's lives and we're having to consider their humanity. So I went back to the leadership team. It's like, can you give me two weeks to try something else? I'll build an AI that finds out who's struggling the most, but can I see if I can do something to help them instead of just getting rid of them? They're like, yeah, okay, sure, whatever. We just know that our people cost us so much right now and we can't maintain that over time. So whatever, if you can figure out a different solution, it's like, great. So I walked into the IT room to collect data. I walked in, with my blonde hair and my like pink skirt, and I was smiling. I was like, I'm here to collect happiness and I'm gonna like change the world. I wanna save everyone's jobs and it's gonna be amazing. Um, and if you've ever been in an IT room, <laughs> uh, the response was, okay, well, I want to ride unicorns to work and eat gumdrops every day, but like, this is the real world. We're hired to do something serious. We have like real objectives we need to meet. We have short runways. Feelings are for girls. Emotions are like too sensitive. Kindness is not worth our time right now. We have real things to do, so. Go sit in your corner with your glitter. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I did it. It's like, uh, this is important to me. I know there has to be something here. Um, and the reason I know that this is important is because I grew up in a world where there isn't kindness or compassion. Uh, I was in a trailer. Cops were at my house every other weekend. Thing like left in a car, in a hot car in the middle of the desert while my dad goes and does drugs with his friends, like that kind of thing. It was, I knew what it was like to live in a world where no one cared about compassion or treating people well and you could just be thrown out the door like trash. I'm not going to build an AI that does that. There's no way. Because I have a heart, I have experienced pain, and there's no chance that you're going to ask me to use AI. AI is amazing. You want me to build it to do that? Like, we can do so many cool things with AI. Why would I do something like that? That was the worst time in my life. So, created happiness. How do you teach a computer happiness? <laughs> that is the question. Or how do we teach an AI to do good? That is the million dollar question. It's the question that led to me making half a million dollars as a 24 year old. And it is the question that I believe if everyone asked, we would be in an entirely different future five years from now. It seems simple, but it is just the act of contemplating how can I use AI? Is it possible that I can use this to help the people around me? 
You don't have to know the answer. You don't have to be technical. Just the simple contemplation opens up your brain to all the possibilities. So, I gotta get into the nerd stuff really quick. <laughs> How did you do it? To collect emotional data, we looked at surveys, we looked at, or I started collecting um, things like sentiment analysis on emails, so the type of words, the tone that someone uses in an email, there's a direct correlation between the words they use and how happy they are in their role. So we can identify who's not happy based on just the words they use. It's there, we can do it. Uh, there's a few different things too, but when we did that, the model accuracy increased. So incorporating these human factors uh, made an AI more effective at coming up with solutions that actually matter. Uh, I have to stop myself to go too far into the... <laughs> I'm a data scientist, okay, so um, <clears throat> what was the result? Or no, the next step, we got the data, um, literally just ask the AI, hey, dear AI, how can I help these people? I don't want to fire them, like what solutions do you have? Like infinite intelligence, help me out. And I spit out a bunch of different ideas, like put their managers through a two-week training, give them a week off of paid vacation, send them a t-shirt in the mail, um, <laughs> Hire a massage therapist once a week. Like the AI will ask. Uh, the AI will do anything you want. It is so cool. It will do. It will answer any question. You just have to ask it. How do I help them? So I started testing it. Does this actually work? Um, and if you couldn't predict already, it does work. Not only did the company not have to fire anyone, they saved 600 million in costs, mostly due to customer retention and resource replacement. Also, engagement went up. Employees stayed twice as long, and a new KPI was created called Employee Happiness. They're used on their website still today. Here's something that we are going to measure and that actually has an impact on our company. Is our, the people here, are they happy? So I knew I was on something, it worked. I s won't go into the details, but I, I've been doing this for 15 years, so I have to give a couple more examples of what happens when you build AI to up-level the people around you. Things like, or to, for the world, environmental impact, create less carbon and less trash waste, litigation risk decreases, when you put people forward first, uh, work satisfaction, people are happier, capturing emojis, Imagine what it's like to be sitting there as a young person and your boss comes in, like, what have you been doing all day? <laughs> I've been capturing emojis. <laughs> like, <laughs> when it's got smiley faces, they're like, why did we hire you? It turns out when you captured emojis, then our email marketing campaigns were more effective. People answer emails with emojis. Um, anyway, this soft skill, being a human and using this thing to help people, using AI as the powerful tool that it is, we would take a moment and realize the capacity we have and how much we can actually make an impact in the world when we start to shift just a little bit out of fear and into curiosity or into gratitude. You can just take a moment to say, how is it possible? How could I do something? That place, from that place, you're infinitely more, you can play an actual role. You can do something about it. My life has changed ever since I've been using AI to create a real impact and make a world a better place. And I, I wish everyone knew how much fun and kindness and goodness you can have and how much work satisfaction you have when you do that. Um, just putting yourself into a state of curiosity because no one knows. No one actually knows how am I gonna use AI. Like, it is evolving every single day. I don't even know, but just asking, you don't have to have the answer, but just asking that question takes the shackles off your hands and makes you, so you can do something. You don't have to have an answer right away. So last thing, last thing. Right now, how often do you think about AI in a good context or bad? Like today or the last month, how many, what percentage of your conversations have been focused on the good versus the bad? And can you shift that? Can you see the impact you can have if you can 
stop focusing on the negative because there is definitely negative there, obviously. It is definitely, it's scary. But there's so much good. Even people here on stage today are sharing how much good is happening. And so I know also, because I've been doing it for 15 years, when you are only thinking about the negative things around AI, you are disempowering yourself and you're disempowering the people around you that are using it for good. So. This is the last thing. <laughs> I don't know, there might be one more thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, just taking a moment of gratitude for every single person out there who is using AI for good. Just want to take a minute to say, I acknowledge you. You might be behind the scenes. You might not get the appreciation that you deserve, but if you are using AI for good, or when you get the chance to, because everyone in this room is going to get the chance to use AI, if you haven't already, are you going to use it for good or bad? If you use it for good, and anyone that is today, Deeply, deeply, from the bottom of my heart, from my soul, I am so grateful for you. You are taking, your role is vital in shaping the future of humanity. Like, this is bigger than me or you. This is big. So if you are even just having the intention to use it for good and to help someone next to you, it's, it matters, okay? As someone who has gone my entire life thinking that I don't matter and I'm just kind of silly and I'm like awkward and I'm like a nerd and I think I have good ideas but I'm not really confident and like, it matters, okay? <laughs> the last thing, it's a quote by Albert Einstein. If we can shift into the positive, we can change the thinking and how we orient ourselves to AI. Literally pull in different versions reality that didn't exist just by getting curious and thinking about what we could possibly want. And so, this, I promise, is the last thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> setting an intention. I do this every single time when I'm sitting, every morning, basically, when I write code, I will say, may this technology have the highest, serve the highest good of everyone involved. This thing that I'm building, that I'm about to set out into this organization or out into the world, I really intend for it to help as many people as possible. And I serve at the, whatever I can do, happens to be coding. That's what I can do to help, then let it be. <laughs> let this technology, that's the intention, As AI increases, as more and more computers come online, may this technology serve the highest good. Thank you.